The question, do fish know they're wet, is a surprisingly deep way of exploring how creatures perceive the environments they live in. Whether awareness depends on contrast or comparison is key. For humans, feeling wet requires noticing a change, like going from dry to water. So the sensation is tied to difference. Fish, however, spend their entire lives submerged. They do not experience wetness the way humans do. Wetness is not a biological sensation, but a human concept describing water on a usually dry surface. From a fish's perspective, water isn't something unusual that clings to them. It is the medium they breathe, move through, and rely on for survival. Their bodies are adapted to it so fully that they don't need to think about it consciously or unconsciously. Fish do sense pressure, temperature, currents, vibrations, and chemicals in the water. These are practical survival tools, not conceptual understandings of being wet. Wetness is a subjective interpretation rather than a physical property an animal perceives directly. Just as humans don't usually feel air, even though we live in it constantly, fish don't feel wet. They simply exist in their environment without the mental framework to label it in abstract terms. The question also touches on a broader philosophical idea. When something is all you've ever known, you may not recognize it as a distinct condition. It's like asking whether birds know they're flying or whether humans know they're surrounded by air. Awareness often requires stepping outside and experience. Fish have no context outside water to compare. So in a scientific and philosophical sense, fish do not know they're wet. Not because they lack intelligence, but because wetness is a human-defined concept that doesn't exist for animals who have never been dry.